Well, it's getting down to the wire for the big new Santalina development on the west side, a development that could be home to 100,000 people. County commissioners are supposed to vote on it this afternoon. News 13's Chris McKee has been listening to that debate all day. Chris is live downtown. Chris. Yeah, Dean, commissioners are now more than four hours into this debate. They've spent all day picking apart this master plan. One of the biggest complaints came from Commissioner Debbie O'Malley, who questioned how the developer is going to attract jobs and set aside land for all of those new residents. Sufficient employment based land has been made available to provide for the opportunity for jobs. Nobody that kind of methodology anymore. Now, per O'Malley's complaint, commissioners and developers eventually agreed on wording that says Santa Lena will create an actual plan on how they'll bring new jobs to their development. They're hoping for two jobs to every one house. The plan calls for Santa Lena to sit on 14,000 acres between Atrisco Heritage High and the jail all along Central and I-40. Opponents sat in on today's meeting in yellow shirt expecting commissioners to take public comment and then vote on the plan. However, they didn't hear any comment today. Opponents are worried the development is more urban sprawl and will be a water hog. But developers say this is smart plant growth over 40 to 50 years. Commissioners today also said they won't rush a decision. Now again, commissioners have been debating this all afternoon, about four hours going on five. There is no end point in stop here and no word on if they do stop when another meeting would happen. Dean, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. On the south side of Albuquerque, a plan was unveiled more than a decade ago to bring 100,000 people to Mesa del Sol, along with thousands of new jobs. That development has barely gotten off the ground.